Hey guys, this is Raf and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Pentax K10D. Now this is going to be a short review as I do have more content on this camera coming. So please make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, just listen to this uh, quick shutter sound. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. Anyway, roll the intro. It goes without me saying, the size of the camera is monstrous. Putting this next to the better but still smaller Sony A6000 makes this camera look like a beast. The K10D's big and rugged body gives it a more hefty and pro grade feel to it, which I like. But adding a neck strap to it will definitely ensure neck problems in the future, so use this wisely. The Pentax features a nice hand grip on the right side of the front panel with a leather texture, allowing your fingers to grip comfortably on the surface. And next to the hand grip, we see a small red window which is used as a remote control receiver and a self timer lamp. The wide remote video slash PC and DC and connectors are accessible through a huge plastic door on the left side of the device. And at the top of the panel, next to the red border of the mode dial, there is a second strap eyelet. The focus switch, the raw and flash up buttons and the bottom of the lens bra are all visible on the side of the Pentax K10D. Focusing on the top, we see our monitoring LCD which displays our aperture, shutter speed and ISO. Although, these settings can be checked using the info button on the bottom left hand side of the monitor. Moving on to the bottom side of the camera, we are greeted to the battery door that can be unlocked using a turn motion. That's enough of the design aspect of the camera, let's move on and see what actually makes this camera good. When it came to battery, the Pentax K10D proved itself worthy. I used this camera for around 100 shots and on and off for around 2 days and the camera still remained full with charge, which I found pretty surprising, especially for a camera of this caliber. The Pentax features a 10.2 megapixels APS-C CCD sensor. This is coupled with the Pentax KAF lens mount, which gives this camera a range of options when it comes to lenses. I mean, let the 300mm lens speak for itself. One cool fact about the K10Ds was it was awarded the finalist camera of the year award in 2007, so it's a pretty big achievement for this guy. Because the Pentax K10D can't record videos, let's move on to the photo section. For 2006, it's no wonder this camera received the finalist award for the camera of the year. Photos are great and sharp, especially when using manual mode. Switching between modes, I found the green mode being auto quite difficult to use, even though its purpose is to change depending on what the sensor sees. I wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner, though I did find switching to aperture priority pretty useful as it automatically dials in the shutter speed and the aperture. One cool feature I liked was the backlighting on the monitoring LCD. This is especially useful in dark environments. The backlight can be toggled using the button with the light icon on the left side. Okay, now let me talk about the lens I'm using on this camera. This is the Sigma 28-300mm f3.5 by Aspherical IF. Now, the first thing you notice when looking at this lens is its size. The 300mm focal length allows me to capture some great images. The 3.5 aperture rating also gives out great blur when focusing on the subject. Speaking of focusing, this camera has three autofocus modes built into the camera. AFS, AFC, and MF. I found using AFC, autofocus continuous, better on moving subjects. And it's amazing if you're not a fan of autofocus. Manual focus is always an option. And I found manual focus was best suited when doing macro photography. Seeing as this 300mm lens is considered a macro lens, taking photos using high magnification is best suited using manual focus. Okay, so if you guys who made it to the end of the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said in the beginning, I do have more content to come. And we're halfway to our goal of 100 subscribers. So it'd be great if you guys could keep on subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. And other than that, I'll see you guys in another video. See ya.